Wait, morning, morning every day? Good morning, everyone. We're starting our day. Where are your bats? I don't know where the bats you got yesterday. Maybe we have to find the other bat. Okay, wait. We got wait. That's not the one. Oh, we have to find the right number. This is our Halloween advent calendar, and it's this little circle. Okay, so you want me to start it for you? Hmm. So it's October 22nd. Pull out that little circle. <gasps> What's in there? What is it? Do you need help? No, I got it. Oh, it's actually. I need. I do need help. Okay, I do. You do need help. I think it's something that's supposed to be for a different day, but he saw it, so it's. Look at. We got this. This is what's supposed to be for today, which is like a fidget ring, which I have a thousand of. But he's seeing is these little stretchies, which I'm assuming are from day 29. Hey, what's that? So should we should we take open up day 29? What is that? I think it goes to this day. Day 29. We're just not gonna have anything. How fun <gasps> is this? Look at this. Squirgly wurgly! What is it? It's a squirgly wurgly! The squirrel? <laughs> sure! They're like worms. <laughs> worms! Cool, I bet they glow in the dark. <gasps> Should we go see? Yeah, let's go see. Yeah, let's go see. So this was what <gasps> came in the box today. And it's literally a yeah. fidget range. I use these all the time. <gasps> they come to part? Yeah. Are you gonna go see if they work in the dark? <gasps> Go check and let me know. Now he doesn't get anything on October 29th, but whatever. What's a two-year-old gonna do with a fidget ring? Oh, did it not work? A black light. I don't have any black lights, but you can still play with them. Oh no, the warming's gonna get you. Watch this one, watch this. Ready? One, watch. Oh, this is gonna hurt, oh God. Ow. <laughs> Ready? Fun stuff. Hello everyone, it is Saturday. I am uh, not having a good day. <laughs> I mean, it's a fine day. I have so much work to do. I feel very pressured to get a bunch of work done today because like my parents are here to hang out with Flynn, so it's like a good day to do it. But it just so happens that it worked out that the day I have to get a bunch of work done is the same day where I feel like absolute trash and I all I want to do is lay down and like go to sleep and not do any work and hibernate. I am feeling very distraught about this situation. And one of the babies, I'm assuming it was the girl, kicked a rib out of place last night. So like I'm in super pain too. Like the top rib on this side is like out of place. It hurts so bad. And yes, they can do that. Flynn did it. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go, but maybe I'll see you guys a little bit later. Goodbye. Hi everyone, it's the next day. It's Sunday and I need to film my brand new video now because I did not do it yesterday. Yesterday after that clip I filmed, I filmed a few Miranda TikToks and then I was just exhausted. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I've just been so tired lately. I can't do anything. I helped Eric film some self tapes for like auditions thingies and then um, I went to bed So not very exciting. So I didn't film any of it, but today I literally have to film this brand deal So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, that's why I have makeup on otherwise it would not be on my face. But before I do it, I have to straighten my hair and I want to show you guys some stuff that I found that is very exciting. I have to clean out the guest room because we're hopefully redecorating it and turning it into a nursery like this week, next week. I'm not really sure of the timeline, but I think it's happening soon. But regardless, we're filming like the before of the bedroom on Wednesday. So I need to start cleaning out all the junk that's in there. And I found some stuff in there that just made me so happy. Well, actually I didn't find it in there. I found some stuff in there that needed to go on a shelf downstairs and on the shelf in the cupboard downstairs, I found this stuff. None of this is important, but here's what I found. I found this baby hand on a black. This was on the set of Haters Back Off. This was a prop. The reason we have this is because my mom had these of all of us kids on like the piano on display when we were children and everyone from Haters Back Off was like, that's so creepy and weird. So they made some to put on shelves in Haters Back Off in the house. I also found a VIP pass from tour. And it just makes me miss tour so much. I miss tours. I found one of the many five-phase plans that Uncle Jim wrote out. This is a five-phase plan for becoming a legend. So this is from season two. We have so many of these because uh, Uncle Jim, Steve Little, the guy who played Uncle Jim, he would write on it in every take and like scribble on it. So we always needed new ones. So we have like a bajillion of these. I found this from season one, maybe from season two. This is a, an album, Me and JC by Owen Trent. The detail that goes into every prop is so incredible because I don't even know if we showed this. Maybe we did like in a quick shot. Like I think maybe there's one quick shot of this. <laughs> it says in quotes, it's spontaneous, says a local review. <laughs> uh, I loved the team on Haters Back Off because like the props department puts so much hard work and dedication into every single prop and they're everyone was so funny and like, it's just so good. Anyway. 
Okay, here's my chair back from season two, I'm guessing. Yeah, because it says Miranda Executive Producer. Another one, this is I think from season one, because it doesn't say anything underneath it. We have the eviction notice from season two that went on the door of the we have the headshot that Miranda passed out at Emily's school in season one. I also found magazines that I was on the cover of. Teenage magazine. I don't even know what this is, but that's me on the cover. And then also Variety. I only have two of these. So Variety has two covers. They have like, there's that one and then there's that one. So this was my cover of Variety. I remember I was so nervous for this photo shoot. Holy smokes. It was like the first big photo shoot I'd ever done. I'd obviously never been on the cover of a magazine and I'll never be on one again, but like, it was so terrifying. And I remember they showed me this outfit and I was like, that's see-through and very tiny. <laughs> but I loved it because it was all sparkly. And then there's a bunch of people in here. Joey's in here. I mean, a lot of YouTubers. And there's Tyler Oakley, Andrea Russett. Oh my gosh. Troy Savon, the Merrill twins. I mean, so many people. But that was a really exciting and fun thing that I got to do. So I just found all these randomly like shoved in a shelf downstairs. I was like, these need to get somewhere special. Now they're on my couch and they'll probably just stay on the pile on my couch. I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. I'm really bad at like framing everything. Like Todrick Hall, he has like every costume he's ever worn like beautifully framed and put on the walls and like every cover, every everything is like just, he spends all this money like framing it and making it like pristine and like beautiful and it's displayed everywhere. And I'm just like, it's in piles around my house. I'm bad at that. Anyway, I need to go straighten my hair and film this brand deal before fun wakes up. And so I'll see you guys after I'm done. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's eating chewy bars, gummy bears. Call some chewy bars. I need a chewy bear. A chewy bear? Yummy? Uh uh, uh oh. <laughs> Remember when they were the size of gummy bears? Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> that's crazy. Put it on my, put it for the They're babies. They're definitely bigger than the gummy bears now. It's for the babies. They're sharing with you? Yeah. Okay, they're sharing with you. They want you to have it. Thanks, babies. Do you remember their names? What's their names? Tundan. Tundan? Tundan. Oh, two Johns. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh. This is so funny. My stomach's so big that it has eaten my shorts. It looks like I'm not wearing Sports. anything. Sports. Sports. My stomach Sports. literally eats clothes. Sports. Like this. I'm wearing shorts right now, love. No, you're not. You're bottomless. <laughs> like I'm completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Advent Calendar for Halloween. So what day is today, Flynn? Whoop, okay. 24th. Let's find it. We have to find 24. Oh, there's 23. Well, you get to open these two. 23 and 24. This is so weird, guys. It says 23 and 24 down here. And it also says 23 and 24 over here. Very confusing. Ready? Let's do this one first. <laughs> <gasps> it fell down. Oh, that's a centipede. It's a centipede. It's a centipede. Watch out. It's going to get you. That's a big That's centipede. cool, Flynn. What is that? <gasps> that's a silly guy. Is it going your finger? It's a finger puppet. Oh, who's that it's silly, a silly guy? It's a silly, silly guy. Ah. Oh, that was silly. He's spooking me. Should we open up the next one? Yeah. <gasps> what is it, baby? It's a pumpkin we can decorate. It's a pumpkin we can decorate. Oh, Flynn, it's a pumpkin birthday candle. <gasps> oh my gosh. You did it. Logan? You did it. Hey, what are you gonna do it? One more. Hey. This is the last one. Hey, what are you guys doing? Doing something? Wow. Oh, what's that? Oh. They keep giving him fidget toys. Like these are for like anxiety. Like my Perfect. therapist is giving me these. This is so cool, Flynn. Remember mommy's block? Look at that. Whoa. And it opens and you can fold it all around. That can is so cool. That. Mm -hmm. Look at all this cool stuff. You got a silly finger monster, a centipede, and a little pumpkin candle, and a cool anxiety toy. Daddy, show him how to blow it out. So there you go, that was Advent for Halloween. His grandma, Nita, and Grandpa Yoda sent him this a long time ago. We've been waiting to do it. How about those? We can do those another day. So we just have to wait till tomorrow to do the next one. So tomorrow you get to do this one, and this one, and this one. There's three tomorrow. What's going on? Alrighty, there you go. Flynn and I are on a hunt for crickets. Oh, Flynn. Is a flashlight because it's getting dark outside. Also, there's lots of mosquitoes, and I'm not wearing pants right now, so this could be a disaster. I want some crickets. Mom, what? Mom, come over here. What'd you find? What'd you find, pumpkin? What? 
In this watering can. You see one? I think they're sleeping there. We should leave them there. I think it's like forever sleeping, if you know what I mean. Yeah, let's go look over here. Okay, look. Over here. Over here. Do you see anything? No crickets anywhere to be found. I caught a big one. You caught a big one? I love it. Oh my gosh. Well, how'd you get it? I caught it in the dirt. He was in the dirt? Yeah. How'd you catch it? With oh, your hands? I'm gonna say, yeah. No. Oh. How'd you catch it? I catch it there. When look at this cricket, it's huge. What are you gonna name it? I name it Buddhist. Buddhist! Oh, he almost climbed out. Ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's on the couch! He's on the couch! He's on the couch! Where is he? Where is he? Can't find. Get him! Oh my god! That was so scary. <laughs> You were trying to catch him? <laughs> yeah. That was exciting for Flynn. Terrifying for me. <laughs> I did not like that at all. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, he's not, he's not, he's not Flynn. <laughs> Where is he? That's in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> is he in there? Yeah, not he's in there. Jeez so Louise. Good. What's Oh jeez, that was traumatizing. It's time for a tortilla talk. Hello everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog of my weekend. I don't remember what I filmed, if I filmed. But I'm gonna keep this one short because I'm very sleepy and I wanna go to bed. So I'm just gonna answer one tortilla talk question tonight in my tiny tortilla. It's one that I've seen a lot in the vlogs, so I'm just gonna answer it because I keep seeing this one. And it is, what are Eric's thoughts about having a daughter? Is he excited or nervous? And uh, I think it's funny, everyone keeps asking asking about how Eric feels about having a daughter. Eric's super excited. He's super excited for both the babies. He can't wait, like it's exciting that we're having a little boy and a little girl. But yeah, I don't know why everyone keeps asking that question. <laughs> He's super, super excited. I guess, you know, it's new for both of us because we've never had a little girl before, but we've also never had this little boy before. So this little boy is gonna be completely different from Flynn. And so they're both gonna be completely new experiences. Yeah, he's very excited to have a daughter and we're also equally as excited to have like a new little son. So he's super stoked, very excited, very happy. We just can't wait to get to know them. I, I felt that way with Flynn too. Like I was like, I just wanna know him. Like what's he gonna be like? And that's how I feel about these babies. I'm just like, I don't even know them. Like what are their personalities gonna be like? I don't know. It's like really exciting to think about like what things are they gonna be interested in? I don't know, are they gonna be similar? Are they gonna be totally different? Are they gonna be like Flynn at all? Like it's just all exciting and scary and fun and I don't know. He's very excited. We're both very terrified to have two babies at the same time, but that's that. I don't know why everyone asks that question so much, but I've seen it a lot. He's very excited, as am I, to have a little girl and to have a little boy. There you go. Um, this week is baby nursery town, so like we are going to be cleaning up the guest room, starting the process of turning that into a baby room. That means that I won't have that guest room anymore, so my office is going to turn into my office slash a guest room, so I need to get a new couch that's a couch bed for when we have people coming to visit because now there's not a guest room <laughs> but yeah um i don't know why i'm out of breath oh i'm having braxton hicks so i'm gonna go i love you guys very much it's almost halloween and i still don't have a costume bye you can relax colleen and eric have a podcast the world is scary and we're locked in our home but now we have big microphones so you can relax that's the name of our podcast